In this video, I'm going to show you how to build an object detection application using Raspberry Pi and TensorFlow Lite. So if you're new to this channel, I'm Kudzai and I regularly publish Internet of Things and Industry 4.0 tutorials on this channel. So make sure to subscribe to get them as they come out. So first of all, let's look at the hardware that you need to complete this demo. So what I have here is a Raspberry Pi 4B Plus and I've got it connected to this 7 inch Raspberry Pi official display. And then here I've got this Raspberry Pi camera module connected to the Raspberry Pi. We'll use this for taking high definition videos for our object detection application. Okay, so there are two key software components that we're going to need to build this application. First, we need a machine learning model that has been trained to classify images of common objects. Second, we need an interpreter for executing this model on the Raspberry Pi so that we can make predictions on the stream of images coming through our Pi camera. Now, the model cannot just be any model. It has to be a model that has been optimized to run on small IoT devices such as our Raspberry Pi here. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is to download a trained TensorFlow Lite image classification model. And to do that, you go to the TensorFlow website under Lite models using this URL. Here you select image classification. Okay, once you are on the image classification page, you scroll down and then you click on download data model and labels. Okay, now let's open up the contents of our download. Okay, so here you can see that we've got two files. The one with a .tf Lite extension is the actual machine learning model. And then this text file contains the labels for all the objects that our model is trained to detect. So if we open up our labels file, You can see that we have a list of all the object names, about 1000 of them. Okay, so what happens here is that when the model gets an image input from the camera, it will run inferences against this list, and then it will return for each object on the list the probability that it is the object on the camera. So from our model, we'll get an array with 1000 items and the item with the highest probability will be at the top of the list. So we will grab the label ID of that object at the top of the list and use it to annotate on the screen. Hence, you will see object names appear on the display with fluctuating numbers as the probability changes. Okay, now that we've got our model and the corresponding labels, let us install the TensorFlow Lite interpreter on the Raspberry Pi. So an interpreter is essentially a Python package and to install it, you go to the Python quick start guide on the TensorFlow website. You can use this URL to go to the page. And if you scroll down on the page, you will find a list of .wheel file URLs with corresponding processor architectures. Now, since I'm running Python 3.7 on my Raspberry Pi, I'll install the .wheel file for Python 3.7 under ARM32. And to do the installation, I'll use this command right here. Okay, so now I'll go to my Raspberry Pi terminal via party. And then here I'll type pip3 install. And then I'll copy the URL for my .wheel file. Then I'll test it here and then I'll execute that statement. Okay, so as you can see, I already have this package installed. And now, because we just want to run a TensorFlow Lite model with Python, we don't have to install all the TensorFlow packages. This interpreter package will be enough for that. Now, what I want to do is to transfer the model and the labels file that we downloaded earlier onto my Raspberry Pi. And to do that, I'm going to use this software here called WinSCP. 
So I'll open the folder here and then I'll highlight these two files and then I'll drag them onto my Raspberry Pi desktop. Okay, now let's take a look at the Python script for our object detection application. So the most important thing to note here is that you are first importing the Pi camera and then we are also importing the TensorFlow Lite interpreter package that we just installed. And then from there, we can go on to our main function here. So in our main function, we first call a function to load our labels from the text file by passing its file path. And we hold the return value in labels. And this here, is the function that does the loading of the labels. Okay, let's go back to our main function. So after loading the labels, we load the TensorFlow Lite model into the interpreter by passing it the file path of where we copied our model on the Raspberry Pi. And then after that, we run the interpreter.allocateTensors method to load the TensorFlow interpreter onto memory. After we do that, we then get the interpreter details, which we will use to input our image for classification. From the interpreter details, we get the image width and height that is accepted by the model. And then after that, we instantiate our camera and set the resolution and frame rate. And then we start the camera. We create a stream input, select to use the video port and set the captured image format to JPEG. And then here we capture the image, convert it to RGB, and then use our model height and width to resize our camera image to make sure that it is acceptable as input into our model. We start the time to keep track of how long it took to run the classification. And then we call the function that does the actual classification. So if we go to that function, you see here that we are supplying our camera image as input into the interpreter. We then invoke the interpreter and then we get the classification results from the output details of the interpreter. And then here we return the array containing 1000 objects with their corresponding probabilities. The one with the highest probability is placed at the top of the array. Now let's go back to our main function. So after the classification, we record the time. We get the topmost item from our results. And then finally, we annotate the image on our display using the label ID, the value of probability and the elapsed time. Okay, so that's all that we need to do. Now let's transfer this Python script onto our Raspberry Pi and run it. And then I'll go into my top here and then I'll copy the TensorFlow demo Python script onto the desktop of my Raspberry Pi. Okay, and then I'll pull up my Raspberry Pi terminal here and then I'll cd into my Python script. And then I'll go ahead and run it. Okay, so our script is running. Let's check out what's on display. Okay, so currently we're looking at an empty desk, but for some reason it thinks it's a projector. Okay, so I'll go ahead and put a few objects in front of the camera and then we'll see if it will be able to detect them. Okay, so as you can see, it's detecting the coffee mark with a probability of around uh, 0 0.4 to about 0 0.5 and going down to 0 0.3. I'll swap for another object. And then I'll put my pen. So as you can see, it's getting confused between a ballpoint, a cleaver, and a broom. So I'll adjust the angle of the pen.
and then now you can see it can actually identify the pen with about 0 0.67 uh, probability and then I'll swap it out and then if I put a mouse you see that it can actually detect it with a probability of about 0 0.5 to 0 0.6 And then if I put a remote control, it can actually identify the remote control with a probability of about 0 0.8. And then finally, I will put my screwdriver. And then as you can see, it can actually identify the screwdriver with a probability of about 0 0.5. So if you found this video useful, please press the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more IoT videos like this as they come out.